when we're eating correctly and we're sleeping seven or eight hours and we're exercising, why can't we lose weight when we're in menopause? Well, there are a lot of important answers for that. And the first one is that the ovary is responsible for maintaining a homeostasis in the body. Menopause is when you lose all your estrogen. So when estrogen is low, up goes stress. A stressed body can't lose weight. It's, it's anxious, it's nervous, and you know the, the body feels like it's going under and it actually makes you more hungry when you're stressed. Also, when estrogen is low, sugar is high. So when sugar is high, we, we develop something called insulin resistance, which is a state where we have high levels of sugar and high levels of insulin, and that definitely causes you to gain weight. And also you crave a lot of sugar. When estrogen is low, we also have more inflammation. So when we have a higher inflammation, those little fat cells are factories for inflammation. And inflammation causes weight gain. We're inflamed, our bodies hurt more, we're moving less. We build less muscle mass in menopause. And muscle mass uh, is really important in terms of raising our metabolism. So why do men lose you know, 20 pounds and women will say, yeah, maybe I lost one when they're both doing exercise and eating well? Because men have so much more muscle. So in menopause, you just don't have that muscle mass and your metabolism goes down and you're gonna gain weight because of that too. Sleep is absolutely critical in terms of losing weight. You need to sleep eight hours. I sleep nine hours every night and nine hours is even better than eight. But menopausal women can't sleep. So they frequently tell me I'm sleeping four hours, I'm sleeping five hours, I'm interrupted with my sleep all night long. And so some hints to get better sleep in hopefully eight hours if you're trying to lose weight would be melatonin. Melatonin is a pituitary hormone in the brain and as we age, it declines. I personally take 15 to 20 milligrams of melatonin every night, but you can start with five milligrams. That's a very helpful way to get better sleep and uninterrupted sleep in menopause. Our diet is extremely important. There's so many diets out there that people are saying, oh, I'm on the animal diet where I'm only eating protein, or I'm on the, the keto diet where I'm eating tons and tons of fat. There are many, many diets, but really the diet that is the best for weight loss, especially in menopause, is a plant-based diet. It's the Mediterranean diet, minus the pizza, maybe minus the pasta, but really fresh from the garden to the table. I would say that as many vegetables as you can possibly eat during the day, pasture raised, organic, this is really important. So in the morning, I have two eggs for breakfast. I have a half of an avocado. Um, sometimes I'll have a black coffee or tea. Uh, so that's my breakfast. Other times I'll have sheep's yogurt with uh, berries. Berries can be very low glycemic and nuts and chia seeds. So start off with a very good breakfast. Then at lunch, you can have a big salad, maybe with some salmon, maybe with eggs if you don't have that in the morning, lots of vegetables in it, good amounts of olive oil. Studies with weight loss in olive oil are, are amazing. People who eat more olive oil than the people who don't lose weight more quickly. And also they have better health and their cholesterol is lower. So some studies are even saying six tablespoonfuls of oil a day. So I add quite a bit of olive oil to my salads and to other things that I'm cooking. Uh, dinner can be a protein. I like wild fish. Please don't eat farm fish, but wild fish, big salads, uh, stir fries, uh, beans are great. Uh, uh, some sweet potatoes, sometimes in the stir fry vegetables can be great. Uh, lots of fiber. Fiber in your diet will really help you to lose weight. So um, I sometimes add a uh, organic India psyllium husk, or I use Mark Hyman's, which is great, his gut food, and I put in a big glass of water, drink it down, and that decreases hunger. And this is just a, a dietary hint to help you lose weight. Actually, one of the most effective diets for weight loss was the Loma Linda bean diet. People ate a half a cup of beans, black beans, it's full of protein, but any kind of beans. About 15 minutes before their meal, they drank a glass of water and they lost more weight than any other diet. The reason why they did that is because beans have so much fiber that they ate less. So yeah, eating less is important if you're eating too much. But on the opposite end, women frequently don't eat enough and they eat to, need to eat more, but they need to eat healthy. So other hormones that contribute to weight gain in menopause are a loss of your thyroid function. So get your thyroid uh, uh, examined. Check all the levels, make sure that your free T3 
is at least 3.2. If it's lower than that, you most likely have low thyroid and that is gonna cause a lot of weight gain. When you're highly stressed and your adrenals are working really, really hard and then start to burn out because of excessive stress, that is a surefire way that you're gonna gain weight. So in menopause, if you're trying to lose weight, sleep, eat right, balance all your hormones, your estrogen, your testosterone, all your adrenal hormones, your pregnenolone, DHEA, and cortisol, and your thyroid hormones, T3, T4. And that combined with feeling happy is gonna really cause weight loss. I'm Dr. Prudence Hall, thank you for joining me. I've taken care of more than 40,000 patients over four decades, and I want you to be one of the ones that experiences a radiance of your health.